In this presentation, we're going to diagnose fuel flow issues on a 6-liter diesel engine using the Rotunda 6-liter diesel fuel flow tester. This tool, Rotunda number 310193 from T-Kit 2008 DTF, was distributed to all U.S. dealers in July of 2008 and simulates maximum fuel system flow on a fully loaded engine. The tool has the advantage of simulating these driving conditions while the engine idles in a repair bay, so there's no need to drive the vehicle when using this tool. In addition, you'll need the fuel pressure tester adapter, rotunda tool number 310111, a gauge bar or a fuel pressure gauge, and a vacuum gauge. Before we walk through the actual diagnostics, let's take a look at a simplified view of the procedure. First. Connect Rotunda tool number 310193 to the fuel pressure test port of the on-engine fuel filter and regulator and insert the output tube into the fuel tank filler pipe so the fuel passing through the tool can drain into the fuel tank. The first step in the diagnostic procedure is to verify that fuel pressure is within specifications. To measure fuel pressure at the test port, start the engine. If the engine won't start, Please refer to this step in the PCED. Now, open the quarter turn valve, allow the air to purge from the tool, then record the pressure at P1. If P1 is below the specification, check the clear hose for aerated fuel and turn off the engine or key off the ignition. If you're unable to purge the air from the aerated fuel, inspect for fuel line damage or leaks and repair as necessary. In this example, aeration was not a concern. Leave tool number 310-193 installed with the quarter turn valve open. Install the fuel pressure tester adapter, tool number 310-111, and a pressure gauge at the low pressure fuel pump and filter assembly, or the HFCM. This configuration will allow you to measure the fuel conditioning module outlet fuel system pressure. To install the 310-111 assembly, Disconnect the fuel return line at the HFCM. Plug it using the 3 8 inch plug from T-Kit 2008 DTF and cap the fuel return inlet to the HFCM with the 3 8 inch cap from the same kit. Blocking the vehicle's fuel return line in this manner disables the fuel pressure regulator allowing proper diagnostics of the HFCM, on-engine filter and pressure regulator. Now that the vehicle return line has been plugged, start the engine, or if it won't run, turn the ignition on. Allow the air to purge from the tool. Record the pressure at P2 and again at P1 with the valve open. In this example, the pressure at P2 is within specification, indicating that the on-engine fuel filter may be plugged, the fuel pressure regulator may be malfunctioning, or the supply line between the on-engine housing and the HFCM may be damaged. Now turn off the engine or key off the ignition. A visual check of the fuel line will determine if the fuel supply line is damaged. In this example, no damage was found. Next, a comparison of the difference between the pressures at P1 and P2 will lead you to either the on-engine fuel filter or the fuel pressure regulator. If P2 minus P1 is less than 6 PSI, the pressure regulator is bad. If P2 minus P1 is greater than 6 PSI, the on-engine filter is restricted. To verify the repair, remove the 310-111 tool and reconnect the vehicle fuel return line. Then, re-measure the fuel pressure, P1, at the on-engine housing test port using tool number 310-193 with the valve open. Note that P1 now meets the specification. Now consider this example. If the pressure at P2 was below specification, the HFCM filter may be plugged, the fuel pickup from the tank may be blocked, the fuel line between the tank and the HFCM may be damaged, or the HFCM itself may have failed. As in the previous example, a visual check of the fuel system will determine if supply lines are damaged. After confirming that the supply lines are not damaged, replace the HFCM fuel filter. With the new filter installed, 
remeasure the fuel pressure at the HFCM outlet, P2, using tool 310111. Leave tool 310193 installed with the valve open. If the fuel return pressure at the HFCM outlet is still below specification, measure for inlet restriction between the fuel tank and the HFCM. To do so, remove the 310111 assembly, install it on the HFCM fuel supply inlet, and replace the pressure gauge with a vacuum gauge. Now measure the vacuum at P4. If it doesn't meet the specification, repair the fuel tank pickup tube for a restriction and verify the repair. If the inlet vacuum meets the specification, the HFCM pump is suspect and should be replaced. For further more detailed instructions, please refer to the PCED.